Alright, so I'm actually going to start the hair cutting process, but before I do that, I actually need to answer some brand emails, which I'm actually excited about because it's been a minute since I've gotten some good brand, and that was something that I really wanted for this year, um, some good brand deals and partnerships and stuff like that. So I actually have two main ones that I need to um, really get back to that I want to get back to. So I'm going to answer them now before I even start my hair because I feel like then I'll forget. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here for now to be safe because you know like the front of my hair I know is shorter than the back. I don't want to cut too high up. So here's a good length because I know my hair is not this long. So I'm just going to cut, cut at least this much of hair because my hair is not that long. One side of my hair is done. <sighs> it's only, what time is it? It's 4, it's 4 p.m. Granted, I didn't start early, but, and then I had, there was breaks in between. So I still have the other side of my hair. So hopefully I'm done by 6. But yes, this is what my hair is looking like. Of course, super dry. You guys, so today's Wednesday. Oh, my neck is hurting me. And so is like my arms. Because even though I didn't work out yesterday, um, and today, this morning I would have went to, but because, one, my arm and my back is still hurting me, I like, again, I don't want to strain myself in the gym. But two, I got to tackle this hair. Because I actually fin ended up finishing, I told you guys, I think, I hope I finished at 6, I didn't finish at 6. I finished at like, um, 7.30, that's when I finished taking out everything. So, yeah. 
but granted I didn't do them as big so that's why it took me longer I mean my braids were like medium size but it still took me long like to do um so this is what my hair is looking like I hope you guys can see that I have some some stuff up in, in there but um I thought I had my pre-shampoo but it looks like I finished oh you guys can't see me yeah I thought I had the rest of my pre-shampoo but it looks like I finished um all of it let me just quickly check in the back of my room to see if I have more area where I have hair products I have hair products everywhere anyway um so I'm going to be using the African Cream Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water the single and condition pre-shampoo because obviously my hair is super dry and it has not been washed like thoroughly washed in pretty much a, almost two months i made it to six weeks this week was week i was going into week seven so next week would have technically been a full two months but i just felt like it was time to take them out because one i noticed sometimes too when i have braids for too long i start getting like headaches i don't know if it's because from the heaviness of the braids especially when i put it up in a bun it bothers me so um yeah i was like all right i think it's time to take it out granted like now i have to do my hair more often and it's not that i don't like doing my hair but i feel like i always felt like you know there's never a medium when it comes to natural hair in terms of like at least here because of the weather changes like in fall you could probably get away with a twist out and your hair not getting dry but then when we got like the harsh winter it's like your hair is just going to be all dry and like not dry and brittle but the harsh weather from outside can like make your hair not the best too so it's like that's why sometimes during the winter I was just, like I used to like when I really started like when my hair was shorter than this and like I was on my hair journey I used to like wear my twist out out in the winter but like and back then I didn't really do like a lot of the moisturizing pre-poos and all the stuff that I do now I wasn't doing that um but I say I'll say like so that's why like I feel like yes you could rock it to a side I know some people do and I'm trying to stay away from buns because if I'm being honest some of my edges um I'm trying to grow back some of my edges in certain spots because I feel like when I was doing buns and stuff too that um you know started to make my edges go away so it's like and I'm used to doing like twist outs I don't mind doing twist outs the only problem like I said in the winter the weather is super harsh so it's like sometimes I would do a wig in the summer like I mean I got used to it like if it, my hair frizzes but like you know in the summer after a while the heat if it's like so so high the humidity makes our hair frizzy so it's like you know, you sat there and did a twist out for it to be frizzy, but, you know, you just get away with it and leave it alone. And then in the fall, it's okay because the weather is pretty, like, it's cooler, but it's not, like, freezing cold. And I'm trying to, oh, in spring, the same thing. Like, I feel like I could get away with twist out in spring. It's cool, but it's not, like, too, too harsh that I feel like my hair would, like, suffer, if you will. From yeah that I feel like my hair would suffer too bad so yeah but I think I'm gonna do a twist out with the same products there was a product I was trying to do wash and go like the thing with wash and goes for me I feel like I guess if one it doesn't like it has to be done the day of but like after that day, like I feel like they never fully last for me because when I try to do like for example the band banding method, um, I feel like uh, it works at the time, but then after that, it's like it's not it's not worth it because it just shows up the curls and then it makes it it just it just messes up the pattern of my curls and I normally don't like that so I'm gonna just stick to what I like. And that's a twist out so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a twist out I was thinking of doing a flat twist out but I'm just going to do regular twist I think I'm just going to do that and let it stay in because I'm not really going anywhere I initially was supposed to go somewhere today um 
But then when I found out, and I wish I had known this sooner, because the last thing, the last event or whatever um, training session I went to, technically, um, the credits that I got, now I realize is not those credits that I got during this last this past school year is not going to count. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, I did get informative information, and that's why I wanted to go today. But like, honestly, after I found out, I wouldn't receive. Like, the credits that I received is not going to count towards anything. It's like a whole backstory. Like, anyway, basically, you get, like, with my title, you can get different certificates. And with my certificate, it's not a requirement to get these credits. So, when other people told me it was, pretty much. So, um, that's the only reason why this time around, I was like, I'm not going. And also, like, I feel like because I decided to take out my hair yesterday... Either way, it wasn't going to happen because, like, it's only, I think it's about 8 now. And, like, I would have already had to be at the um, meeting now. I mean, at the session now because it happened at, like, in a big high school. But you could have, I, I could have honestly still did it if I wanted to today and do it remotely. But I think, I don't know, if, I don't think I could do that because I signed up for the in-person, not the remotely one. So, I mean, if it was remotely, maybe I would have still did it, but again, I would have to be logged in, like, at 9, and well, the way this hair is going, I don't think I would be logged in at 9 and on time. Um, the, but the good thing, like I said about it, it's, like, the way it was working, that's why I kind of liked it, the remote one, when I did it last time. Uh, the w reason I liked it is because literally you just logged in, and then you were able to um, join different like sessions about different things whatever you wanted to really join like whatever interests you or if you needed certain information and I actually did get some good information I even wrote down some things um, so for that purpose it's good and I'm not saying it's not good to go to these trainings because you know sometimes you learn useful information for your job but, like in this case yeah I just decided to sit it out it's just like if I don't go pretty much if I'm not there I just don't get the credit which it's fine for me because, like I said, it's not going to count anyway if I had gone. So, yeah. I feel like I just need to go through some of my hair. Like, I normally I start with my whole head and then I go around and work my hair, work around the whole head. Because, literally, the only thing that has really gotten moisture is my scalp this whole time. But my actual hair, like, you know, you see how it went from dry to... The curls are back to life. They missed, <laughs> they missed the moisture. So for that reason, I'm happy to have my hair back because I definitely think it needs the moisture. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna go through the. Originally, I was gonna speed this up, but then I started talking to you guys about the thing that I had to do. Um, but yes. I always feel like I forget the back of my hair, so I'm trying to get back there. And not to mention, too, my hands really still hurt from, obviously, uh, taking out the braids. Like, just doing my hair in general. Like, does, and I think all natural girls can relate to this. Like, you get, like, an arm workout from doing your hair. Like, that's, that's how much it takes to do our hair. Um, but definitely I would not trade being natural for anything. Because I used to be relaxed. And, you know, relaxed was easy. But I love, you know, seeing my natural hair curls. Does that make sense? Because when I was relaxed, you know, your hair is straight. So, um, yeah. Alright, but I'm not going to chat anymore. Like I said, this is what the curls are looking like. Um, I think this is, you leave it for 20 minutes. I'm about to put a, um, a timer. Uh, oh yeah, a timer. So that I can, um, feel like, feel like that the bottom here is still dry so I'm just kind of like that's why I said I'm trying to go through my hair and feel like the areas that are still a little dry 
And this is also a great way to detangle all the stuff. Like, I'm not really showing you guys the hair because I'm just throwing it up in my garbage. But, um, I'm actually going to, though, take you guys along in the shower. I normally don't, but for the purpose of this weekly vlog, why not? And show you guys the rest of my routine of me pretty much nursing my hair back to all oh, the aftercare because that's equally important just like before you put the hair in so yeah that's what i'm going to do another lazy afternoon the clouds covered in gray third coffee of the day almost fell asleep on soon i yawn at the display third meeting of the day but i can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof it's like they're calling out don't lose your youth cause i can stay inside and tap away inside oh man This product that I used last time. I'm um, actually recent purchase. This is like newly purchased products I purchased. I want to say like June ish. Um, but yeah, so it's by Toledo Logita. I have tried the brand before, but um, I think I've tried only like like their leave-in sprays and oil. I've never tried like styling products. So anyway, I got that. So I used the Toledo Logita Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut Nutrition Leave-in Conditioner.
And even though this is a spray um, bottle one, it's not like your standard spray bottle that's like liquidy. It's really creamy, which I like. And then I use the Talia Wajid Curls Wave Naturals Curly Curl Jello. Now, I'm tired, like, I'm really tired, but Seamus plug in before I do take a nap, because, like, I, like, I'm telling you, I feel so sleepy. I'm going to put up a post, because I'm going to be starting a book club. Um, some more details on that will follow. So, if you, this weekly vlog might be, probably be put up after the fact, but it will be on the computer, community tab, so... If you see this first, or if you see the community tab, if you are interested um, in the book club, this is something new that I'm doing. I'm trying to branch out and do a lot of things right now. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, I will leave the book. It's pretty much a book about self-love to give you a general overview. And um, yeah, but oh yeah, shameless plug, but recently I want to say two weeks ago, I went to this um, New York event, which, mind you, I've been living in New York all the time and did not know they have this weekly, every Sunday, mind you. Um, I think it's all, every summer during this, every Sunday during the summer, if I'm not, if I stand corrected. Anyway, they have about a hundred and something vendors for different stuff, so, like, I saw so many other things, but, like, I kept myself pretty, like, low-key. I didn't buy too much. I purchased from two brands. One of them was, like, a CMOS brand. Um, which I haven't been really good at but taking it. Like, I think if I'm going to take it, it has to be in a smoothie. I can't do it any other way because I I took it, like, just taking it with the scoop. I couldn't do it. Like, I did it, but the taste is too, like, ugh, you know. And then the other one was, um, the other time I did it, I tried to do it in juice. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's too thick. You need to do it, like, the best way, I think, for me is to just do it in a smoothie and I'll be good. But anyway, so I got that. It's like a sea moss that pretty much is supposed to help with indigestion, um, weight loss, and all that jazz. I went to this place. I think it's called... I have the card. I thought I threw it away. And I'll, I'll share it. I'll link the Instagram information down below. But I walked through the whole place and just to see like different brands. And I also... So I decided I'll come back. Because I always use satin bonnets anyway. I own like... I want to say real, real authentic satin bonnets. I own like... Well, three now um, that are actually good, that actually stay on my head, don't fall off. Like the one that I was using before for my box braids, that was definitely a great purchase because it kept all my box braids. So anytime I have a protective style now, I'll definitely be using that one for everything. But pretty much she makes different types. So she makes like bo um, bonnets. She was showing us everything, but she was very like thorough. Um, she makes satin into satin bonnets, I believe. And then it's like... Uh, what do you call it? Cotton to satin, I think. I don't remember. But anyway, so I thought this one was cute. It's pretty much black woman afro with the head wraps and stuff like that. And it's like, I want to say it's like a bluish purple. But anyway, and then inside is satin. And she puts this, which I wish I actually had this because it's perfect for your edges. You know, when you're sleeping, it has a satin lining for your edges. So this is actually the first time I'm sharing with you guys because I actually haven't tried the bonnet um, yet because I had, you know, braids. Oh, okay, I see. Well, this is definitely good because sometimes that is true. Like, I'll put on a bonnet and it's covering my hair, but there's nothing covering, like, the elastic to cover my edges. So now I have one of those. So I think it was definitely worth the purchase. Uh, so yeah. Like I was saying, I got this misguided dress. It is a, I want to say beige colored dress. It's a good length. It reaches to, I'm really short, so it reaches, yeah, it's actually pretty long. Not long, but it's like a longish dress. So on, it will definitely be not a long dress like it's going to be on the floor of me, but it's definitely going to be long enough-ish. And it's long sleeve, so I'm probably going to be wearing this for fall because I just feel like I was going through my closet. I did a lot of decluttering. I didn't share that with you guys, but I did a lot of decluttering of like clothes that I had when I was younger that I stopped wearing and stuff like that. So I was like, let me get new dresses and stuff like that. So the next thing, since I'm on dresses, I got this Forever 21 dress, also in large mocha. I really like this. 
it's pretty much like the cutout arm so on the sides but it's also thick material and I would say okay well this one is not as long as the first one this one is a little shorter but it's not again when I say short it's not it's pretty much a maxi I would say no the first one is maxi let's say this is a midi length midi meaning like it reaches up to if you've ever purchased clothes you know what I'm talking about but like for me like let's say this is where my neck is so it would reach a little bit below on my knee so that's not short uh next sorry i'm just gonna pick up everything out the box i got this top because i thought it was cute i'm into bodysuits here and there so this is like a shimmery bodysuit this is the best way i could call it uh this is or glitter bodice bodysuit it's actually from tj maxx this is also large um and yeah so And here and there, I like these frivolous arms. I don't know why I'm into those, but yeah. I don't need, intentionally know where I'm going to wear this yet, but I know I want to wear this somewhere. And this is heavy material, so obviously I'm probably going to be wearing it during winter time. I feel like a lot of the clothes I didn't get was close to where now. It's like fall, winter. But if you really think about it, we're almost in fall weather anyway. So, like, I guess it was opportune time. But there was a lot of deals that I was just like, I should get this now. Now, this I could wear now. Actually, I could wear this anytime, really. I could wear. But this is an H&M top. Also got in large. It's a bodysuit top. So, it's just a black and white striped top. And, yeah. So, that's that if you ever tried bodysuits I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it's black and white okay next this skirt I don't know I think they say it's a large but I probably had I known I probably would have got this skirt specifically an extra large this is the thing about like when you purchase online because for me skirts can be hit or miss like I had an extra large skirt for example from H&M and it was huge that it was like falling off my like hips Whereas this, you know, this is a large, but this is like a kid large. I already you can tell by looking at it, I don't foresee it fitting me at all. Like, the whole thing that I purchased that I'm like, eh, it's not going to fit. The next thing I got, I thought this was solely black, or maybe I was crazy. But anyway, I like graphic t-shirts, so I'm keeping it. It says, keep smiling all night long. Um, it's black on the top, but then the bottom's like a glitter-ish. I don't know if you guys see it. It's like glitter. But clearly I like glitter because I also got a, another glitter top. And lastly, this top looks tiny. But like, it may just look tiny. But I put it on. It might not be so tiny. I don't know. This is, just as a bound. Purple and white. Probably, pretty much a tie-dye shirt. Really liked it. So I got it because I could wear it. And I always feel like, for me personally, after I clean out my closet, I have a lot of like, how would you say it? Like a lot of sweatpants and stuff like that. A lot of jeans. But I don't really have a lot of like tops. Does that make sense? Like a lot of going out tops. And a lot of the tops require ironing. And sometimes I don't like to iron. So like <laughs> every so once in a while I like to get like not basic tops. But like you know cute tops to go out to places and stuff like that. Um, and lastly. But yeah. So I got these for I think $48. Which was really a steal. Because I paid more for my other Nikes. But granted they were Air Force ones. So you know how Air Force ones are. I'm um, generally expensive and those are my first pair of Air Force ones so I'm just about this but these I got they look really comfortable they're black and white as you guys can see I like the design too and I was actually shocked like I kept on looking like is it really 4867 but it was actually on sale so they put it down on sale so and this is like great detailing as you guys can see it says Nike on it um so I pretty much treat myself to some new sneakers since I threw away my other sneakers.
So I just finished working out. Whoo, yeah, I'll see that sweat. So I'm really trying to be serious um, these next, I want to say, three weeks. The days I do not get to go in the gym, I'm trying to get it done at work. I mean at work, at home. So today I just did um, Grow With Joe. And as you guys can see, I am sweating. I did the, first of all, let me turn off my thing, my watch, because I like to put that on and I'm glad I got it in because I missed yesterday because yesterday you guys saw like I was pretty much focused on washing my hair because I had to get that done like there was no if but about it um, after I took my hair out and then on Tuesday I generally didn't get it done on Tuesday because one I just felt like I got to late start but I honestly looking back I could have done a workout on Tuesday I don't know if you guys can see that this is my belt that has so I, don't know, I use it here and there um, I'm trying to use it more often but I feel like it's weird sometimes when I'm in the gym to use it but like my shirt is just everything is just pure sweat so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay here drenched I'm actually gonna go just straight to the shower right now shower and then uh, I'll figure out what I'm eating for breakfast, but the workout I just did was hold on, I want to get closer because I can't even see I took off my glasses because I was sweating so much. It's just um, 5,000 steps fast walking workout to burn fat and boost your mood. No repeats. So pretty much in that workout and if you don't know what girl, girl with Joe is, I see why she has a huge volume because she really like some of the workouts were pretty easy, but at the intensity level that you're going, it's like it gets really hard and you can sweat a lot because as you guys can see i am full on sweat um but yeah so but i'm either way i'm happy that i got up and i said you know today we're we're doing a workout and that was done so i'll catch you guys after this this is about to be a long uh vlog i already see it this is for real for real, a weekly vlog um because literally my memory card got full because I had so much stuff, but I had stuff from like other stuff that I decided to scrap that um, um, content out anyway. Because literally during the workout, I was like, your card is full now. That's how much I um, record down here. Uh, so yeah, but let me get the shower because I'm just... All right guys, so um, really quickly, I'm perfect. 
just finished. I'm about to put one more listing on Mercari for two items that I shared with you guys yesterday that I purchased from that up. So I was doing a um, filming for a TikTok for um, the items and two of them I already saw wasn't going to fit. Um, so those two are going on Mercari. If you guys are interested, I'll give my Mercari link down below. Um, but first comes first serve, I guess, if you will. Um, also, uh, yeah, so this, my memory's gonna, card is gonna die. I just realized this, this is probably the first time I did a whole week vlog that my memory card says it's full. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, I don't think there's anything else I have to add. I don't have anything else to do. Um, I can't believe it's already 1 o'clock. The day, like, literally went so fast. I did want to do another TikTok, but I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Um, I wanted to really try this product and see if it was really good. But it's a makeup product, but in all honesty, um, I just came out. I stepped outside for, like, just a few minutes with my little brother, and it was so hot. I came back, and I was like, oh, uh, yeah. After filming, and after filming that close TikTok, there's a lot that goes into, like, filming trying hauls and that's what sometimes I just don't do it. It's easier to just show the item, but yeah, this one I did. Oh, look, I missed the twist. I retwisted my hair, but in bigger chunks, so I gotta fix that. Anyway, that's not right here nor right there. That is the end of this weekly vlog. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Se siente diferente.